Hey everybody, I am David and today I want to talk about Spider-Man Homecoming, the newest Spider-Man movie that is now part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And uh, what did I think of this movie? First of all, let's talk about the star of the movie, Spider-Man himself, Peter Parker, played by uh, Tom Holland, who was introduced to us in Civil War. Uh, I thought he was terrific in this film you know he feels like a real teenager how a real teenager would act if he was a superhero and he's just so enjoyable he has the comedic timing on and everything i love i thought he was great i thought he was probably i think he is the best take on peter parker and spider-man to date right now so far he is my favorite uh we have some great supporting characters in this movie, some uh, with slightly bigger roles, some with uh, slightly smaller roles. Uh, obviously, Tony Stark, you know, um, Iron Man. I am going to say if you are looking forward to seeing a lot with Iron Man, you are going to probably be disappointed. I don't think this is a spoiler. I'm just kind of warning you. Don't expect too much Iron Man in this movie he you know he's there very briefly this is definitely a Spider-Man movie and that's not to say it's a bad thing that there's not too much Spider-Man actually I think that's a really good thing because you don't want Spider-Man to be overshadowed by another hero and that's what I thought this movie did really well they kept it as a Spider-Man movie with occasional appearances by Tony Stark himself, Iron Man. Um, and I, I think it worked really well with uh, Robert Downey Jr. playing the mentor role, if you will. It, it's kind of similar maybe to a little bit of uh, Samuel Jackson in Iron Man 2, where he, he would pop up in a few scenes just to give him a little bit of, just to give Robert Downey Jr. a little bit of advice, you know? So he was playing sort of that Nick Fury type of role, I would say. I would say actually Happy, uh, played by um, John Favreau, actually had the bigger a bigger role than Tony Stark did. And every scene Happy was in was always great. He brought that that flavor that if you enjoy the the type of uh, comedy that. Uh, John Favreau had brought to Happy in his previous appearances. Uh, he heightens it a little bit more, uh, which I really enjoy. I like his interaction between uh, Tom Holland and John Favreau. I thought Happy was a great addition to this movie. Uh, there's quite a bit of surprise cameos as well. Um, I'll leave that for you guys to find out eventually, since this is my non-spoiler review. Um, there's a, there's a few surprises here and there if you if you don't go uh, in looking spoilers. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by some of the things that has happened. Um, some characters, I think, played their parts uh, really well. The special effects are amazing. You know, you need it to be like something for a Spider-Man movie to have this kind of uh, special effects and. Some people, I think, are kind of worried that uh, how the the relationship between Marvel and Sony would be with this movie would be a mess or would it be uh, something amazing. And I thought it was a really amazing film. Like, I wouldn't say, like, it's my favorite movie of the year, but I would say I had a really great time with this movie. This might be my favorite Spider-Man movie uh, right now and in going in I was kind of thinking how is this going to beat Spider-Man 2 there's no way and I heard a lot of people wrestle with the idea of which one was better Spider-Man Homecoming or Spider-Man 2 and I thought I thought okay it's probably going to come close to Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man 2 is all around a great film Spider-Man Homecoming is also all around a great film but in different ways I think if you're someone that wants to have that fun that energy that spider-man needs i think this movie succeeds there uh it has a really good villain something that a lot of people say marvel movies lack a little bit is their villains and michael keaton plays a great villain with the vulture in this movie there's a couple of other villains that i won't name if you don't know that are in this film um 
if you're a hardcore Spider-Man fan, you will know who they are. Um, but I think all the villains are handled really well. The main villain, obviously, being uh, the Vulture and how he ties into the Avengers um, to their their story is kind of cool. Um, I really liked seeing all of that uh, come full circle. So uh, there's really a lot of here, a lot of things here. I think for any Marvel or Spider-Man film uh, fan to enjoy and uh, seeing seeing this movie finally, seeing Spider-Man into this world, they they really let you know that he is in this world. There there's a, a couple of references to previous Marvel films. Um, like I said, the first Avengers film is kind of referenced uh, for Vulture's backstory a little bit, uh, which I thought was a nice little tie-in. Uh, and it does get me excited to see Spider-Man again, which we know we are going to get that eventually. Um, I'm trying to think of ways that I can say things that, without really spoiling them. Um, don't expect like a heavy drama like The Amazing Spider-Man or cheesy moments. I, I didn't think the movie was cheesy at all. I thought it was a fun movie that had me smiling the entire time. Look, I'm going to give this movie... I'm contemplating... I don't know if this will be my final score. I, I could change it anytime. But for right now, I'm going to feel comfortable giving it an 8.5 out of 10. There's a part of me that wants to give it a 9... But I have to think about it a little bit more. So to be on the safe side, I am going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. But like I said, my mind could always change the more I think about it. Um, and I definitely think if you are a Spider-Man fan, you want to support this film. Uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed uh, unless you're someone that that doesn't like the movies that Marvel has made so far. Okay, then maybe you'll be disappointed. But I don't know too many people like that. That I think this is a safe movie. If you are someone that was scared, like I said earlier, that Tony Stark being in the movie would take away too much of the spotlight from Spider-Man, believe me, you are not going to be disappointed with that because it is a Spider-Man movie. It is about him and his uh, relationships. I might do some videos later on, guys, to kind of... Um, talk more a little bit about spoilers not a spoiler review but i might talk about specific subjects um that are related to the movie so I, i'm contemplating on doing separate videos on that um that way i can talk more about spider-man throughout the week uh throughout the coming week so um with that being said i have long and hard to think about uh, my rankings of the Spider-Man movies. I'll be doing a separate video for that. Uh, but right now, you can definitely bet uh, the top two are going to be between Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man 2. Uh, like I said, I'm going to take some time to think about it. And I'll get to it then. So for now, I would like it if you guys can like this video. Subscribe to my channel, especially if you are a huge fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe or superheroes in general. Marvel or DC, doesn't matter to me. I love it all. And um, please comment below and tell me your thoughts on Spider-Man Homecoming. I like to know what other people are thinking, um, especially people that are subscribed to my channel. Start a discussion. Whatever you want to do, I don't care. You, my channel is your channel, sort of. Um, well, okay, my channel is my channel, but you're welcome to say whatever you want. Even if you want to diss me, I don't care. Um, and with that being said, guys, until next time, take care.